Tell me, Yaku, Yaku, Yaku ski moment. Fafa, don't let us talk about Yaku. Eh? The key moment for that means against South Korea. <laughs> Some of us who are actually historians and actually understand the game. Student right of the game, not graduate. Welcome, this is Crossfire and my name is Jidechi. On today's edition of the show, we will be discussing two Super Eagles legends, Ike Chikuchi and Yakubu Ayebeni, who was the better player in their days for the national team. Alright, let me start with Tunde on this one. Tunde, Ike Chikuchi or Yakubu? Look, uh, it's in the mortal words of the great philosopher, Jeko, that says they act like two legends cannot coexist. Ike Chikuchi and Yakuba Egwene, two legends of the Nigerian game. So, no disrespect to any of them. I have no bad thing to say, even though that's my reputation on this show. I have no bad thing to say about Yakuba Egwene. Other than that, he missed that chance that my grandma would have scored against South Korea. Other than that, <laughs> other than that, that he missed that chance that a black person would have scored. That he missed that chance that somebody on a wheelchair should have scored. Other than that, I'm not going to say any bad thing. Ike Chuku on the other hand, one of the most underrated legends of Nigerian football. It never comes up in this discussion of goals, Nigerian strikers. That's why scoring 19 goals in 46 games for the Super Eagles. That is not easy. That is a very, very good ratio. For someone who was not even an out and out striker, he was more of a support striker. He was more, he functioned more, drifting to the wide. He was a clutch player. Seven goals in World Cup qualifications for Nigeria. He had big moments, and you know he doesn't hurt. That's a fine boy too, even in this, even in the present present age and day. So like obviously, Yakubu is a legend. I just think that Ikechuku Uche did more for Nigeria. And I'm not talking about their club careers. I'm not talking about their career in summation. I'm talking about for the Super Eagles. There was just this element of safety. There was just this element of we'll be alright. When he knew Ikechuku Uche was on the field. Especially alongside his brother. They had a fantastic understanding. So shout out to the legend. Mm. Tosin, over to you. Ikechuku Uche and Yakubu. Who do you think was the better player for Nigeria? I'll go with Yakubu. Mm. I'll go with Yakubu. And here's why. When you look at the careers of... Ikechukuchi and Yakuba Igwe. We are talking about their club careers. Yakubu was exponentially better than, than Ikechukuchi. That's a fact. So let's look at their Nigerian career, their impact to the Super Eagles. And the truth is this I'm not going to call Ikechukuchi a flash in the pan. But in reality, Ikechukuchi's career with the Super Eagles is basically about seven years, about 2007, 2014. Let's call it what it is. Yakubu had an extensive career with the Super Eagles. Which is why he has more appearances. He has 56 appearances. And he also has more goals. So, Yakubu actually, unlike Ikechukuche, Ikechukuche didn't go through the youth setup in a way. You understand? Yakubu actually went through the youth setup, the under 17 to the under 20 to the national team. That shows progression. Yeah. So, when you look at Ikechukuche from the 2002 Africa Cup of Nations, the 2004 Africa Cup of Nations, the 2008 Africa Cup of Nations, the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. You understand? So, I, I, I honestly, I respect Ikechukuchi. Like he said, he's a fine boy. But when we talk about production on the pitch, without a shadow of a doubt, and I respect Ikechukuchi, but like, I feel Ikechukuchi comes with that next tier, with Ojon Igalu, with Obafemi Martins. That's, that's Ikechukuchi. You understand? When you talk about the only person in, to, in reality that can actually say he actually... Obviously, Rashidi Yekin is the GOAT for strikers in Nigeria. But Yakubu is a close second. That's just the simple <laughs> truth. Yakubu is a close second. Today, so so just be patient. I mean, I'll still come to you. Sometimes you hear something, you cannot, you cannot even process it. But go ahead. Please. But yeah, I was going to ask. We, we've spoken about their times playing for Nigeria. Let's look at them as all-round players and their general career. Who do you think was the greater player? Do you still stand with Uche on this? All-round player. Like, if, just going by it, Uche was faster. He was quicker between the lines. He had, you know, you can say, okay, um, Yak had more goals, like, definitely. But Uche had more of a goal sense because he was not, even, like, I keep pointing out, he was not a center forward. Yakub Aikben was a center forward and that was all he was. Ikechuku Uche, because he was fast, was used out on the right a lot, was used out on the left, was used out in the middle, was used as a support striker in the, in the, in the, in the, in the top two. And don't you talk about Yakubu being, playing for an extended amount of time and Ike Uche being a flash in the pan. When Yakubu has 21 goals, Uche has 19. So if if flash in the pan is only three goals away from extended strike, I don't know what else to what the, what, the, what 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 comparisons are we making here? Yakuba, there's only one tier for super ego strikers is Rashid Yakini and the rest. Inside that rest, Yakubu is there. Okay, is there. <laughs> Victor Zima is added to the Rashid Yakini tier. 
he was going to surpass them. I we are talking about the player that is number five on the Super Eagles all time scoring list. Number five. Only four players have scored more than him. Osimen, um, Yakubu, um, what's his name? Shegwadek Bami. And of course, the late great Rashidi Yakidi. So, like, let's not talk about it like he was a, he was a, this, this is not a, this is not a bomb. This is one of the greatest strikers in the history of this country. So, in my opinion, Yak was very good. Mm. Ike Oche is better. In fact, I don't want to say it was significantly better. Especially for Nigeria. And if you want to argue that you can point that one significant moment that Yakubu had for Nigeria, I'm here, yeah, I'm all here. Person, so I throw that to you. Let's 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 hear it. You've spoken about Yakubu already. He 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 didn't mention a significant moment for Ikechuku. So why would I mention a significant sign? <laughs> signi <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. He he didn't mention like and don't let us actually make the mistake and say that like I, I'm kind to actually downplay Ikechuku, which is influence and his impact on the national team that's not what i'm doing here we're actually making a light-hearted comparison who do i have that is not light you understand light. who who would i have you understand this is this is just hypothetical who would i have i'll have yakubu why okay. because of yakubu's pedigree and ability to put the ball in the back of the net so as simple as that now when you look at it some of us actually, you understand, we actually watched these games. You understand? They didn't tell us about this. We games. did not watch it. We didn't, our parents did not chase us to bed at 8, 8 p.m. Why are you, you bragging understand? about being old? <laughs> you understand? We actually watched this game. So when, when you look at Yakubu Aigbeni also, you understand? The 2002 bronze medal game at the Africa Cup of Nations. Yeah. Yakubu Aigbeni scoring the winner. Wow! You bronze understand? medal! The, the, Yakubu Aigbeni has a bronze medal in 2002. <laughs> Has a bronze medal in 2004. Wow. Has a bronze medal in 2010. Wow! You understand? So like, there is consistency with the national team. Mind that. Consistently thought. Consistently thought. <laughs> you can say consistently thought, but at the end of the day, he showed up when called upon. He showed up. He showed up. He showed up. I have to. No, no, no. Don't. We are, we are not going to laugh about commitment here. We are mm. not going to about laugh about commitment to the national team. Mm. That's not what we are going to do on here. Mm. Some of us are mature enough. You understand to see past the the nonsense. Say your mind. Don't be going through. You, you, you understand. So. <laughs> So when you look at Yakubu, apart from his commitment to the national team, might I remind you, all of us will remember the 2010 Af uh, FIFA World Cup qualification process. Mm -hmm. When Nigeria actually had to go to Kenya to win, who spearheaded the comeback? Can you tell us what happened at that World Cup? You were saying <laughs> yourself. <laughs> that, for that. that World Cup, what happened? It was Yakubu. <laughs> what happened? Before Obafemi Martins now, now scored the late winner. It was Yakubu who spearheaded the comeback. And obviously, he also, obviously, Kanu was part of the team, but... Yakubu Kanu was, was part of the team. Kanu was. The entire Kanu, Kanu Wako was part of the team. Kanu was let's part not, of the team, but not Kanu was yeah. not the Kanu of yesteryear. So when Kanu went to that team, it was Yakubu. You will actually see Yakubu with the armband, obviously, before he now passed on to Vincent Eyama. So, so these are things that some of us who are actually are students of the game, some of us who actually watch the game, and they didn't tell us this... This 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 games by 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 a fire stand. You understand? Our parents they, we actually watch the game by ourselves. If you understand these things, you, you may not be able to comprehend it. Game. It may depend on your IQ level. It may depend on your understanding of the game. That's not for me to say. But actually, some of us that actually have an in-depth understanding of the national team, you actually have to pick Yakuba ahead of it. He asked wait. He asked for he asked for a key moment of Ike Oje, and I will tell you. Ike Oje scored two goals when Nigeria beat Argentina 4-1. <laughs> Baba shot your mouth. We, do we beat Argentina 4-1? Baba, we are not talking Ike about Ike Oje friendly. scored we two goals. Friendly goals not. Games, you know, tell me Yakubu's key moments. Baba, don't let us talk about Yakubu. Yeah, the key moments in that miss against South Korea. Gentlemen. History, <laughs> some of us who are actually historians and actually understand the game. Student of the game, no graduate. Tell me what you think. Who do you think was the better player between Ike Oche and Yakubu, drop your comments down below.